Stingers are generally thought of as one-shot musical segments that are played in reaction to something that happens in the game, like a player receiving a bonus or picking up a special item. In WISE, a stinger is not represented as a type of object, but instead it's a designation assigned to musical segments, allowing for additional instructions on how the music segment should synchronize its playback with other music segments that might already be playing. To see how this works, we'll use the demo game Cube. Within the game, the player may be engaged in different types of activities, such as exploring, engaged in combat, or in a boss fight, and there's different types of music composed for each of these modes of gameplay. While engaged in these various modes of gameplay, a player may encounter a teleporter. The teleporter always plays a sound effect, but it would be nice to have a musical accent that accompanies this as well, such as a quick cymbal swell. We could use the teleporter event to immediately play the cymbal swell, just as it does for the teleport sound effect. But in most cases, the cymbal swell wouldn't match the timing of the music that's also being played. Ideally, the cymbal swell would reach its apex on a musical beat. While we can't control if the player moves through the teleporter on beat, we can incorporate the use of stingers to delay the cymbal swell just enough so that it plays at a more musical time, such as the next beat or bar. A music segment that's intended to be used as a stinger can exist anywhere within the interactive music hierarchy. It makes sense to house that music segment within the music playlist container that the stinger would be associated with. For example, if the only time the player goes through a teleporter is when they're exploring, then we could add a cymbal swell music segment within the explore music playlist container. However, in this case, the player may pass through the teleporter in either the explore, combat, or boss modes of gameplay. For this reason, it makes sense to import the cymbal swell outside of those music playlist containers. If you think you may be configuring a few other music segments as stingers, you can organize them within a virtual folder. Virtual folders are purely organizational and keep things looking nice and neat in any hierarchical structure. In the interactive music hierarchy, right-click the music work unit Choose New Child, Virtual Folder, and we'll name the new virtual folder Stingers. Now we can right click the Stingers virtual folder, choose Import Audio Files, click Add Files, and here's the Stinger Symbol Swell audio file we're going to import. The file will be imported as a music segment. Now let's expand the Stingers folder and select the Stinger Symbol Swell music segment. And let's take a closer look at the waveform by expanding it and take a listen. Notice that the tempo in the music segment property editor is set to the default 120 beats per minute. You may feel that this needs to be adjusted to match the 138 BPM indicated in the file name but making this change really isn't necessary because you can also see that the file name indicates a length that is considered to be zero measures long. The reason that this music was given a zero bar designation is because only the apex or loudest part matters when aligning it to play with other music segments. That apex is where the entry cue needs to be aligned. By default, the snap to bars beats button is on, which may prevent you from freely aligning the entry cue so we'll want to disengage it first. Now hold the control key and drag the entry cue to the apex of the cymbal swell. Everything before the apex is considered to be pre-entry and everything after the apex should be considered as post-exit. To do this, we'll drag the exit cue to the same position as the entry cue. Stingers rely on a special type of game sync called a trigger which represents the action in the game that is to be embellished with a musical cue. Like event objects used to play sound SFX objects, triggers can play music segments, but with an added ability to defer the playback to occur at a more musical time, such as the next beat or bar. In the Project Explorer, click the Game Syncs tab, and at the bottom, we'll see the hierarchy for triggers. In the Triggers folder, we'll create a music work unit. Right-click the music work unit, and choose New Child work unit, and we'll call it music. And within that work unit, we'll create another new child as a trigger. And we'll name this symbol swell. 
Triggers are game syncs that can receive calls directly from the game engine, in which case the name we used here would have to perfectly match the name programmed into the game. However, later in this tutorial, you'll see that we're going to take a different approach, using standard event messages to play triggers. So in this situation, we don't have to be that particular about the trigger's name. We now need to associate the trigger with the cymbal swell music we configured earlier, as well as associate which piece of music the cymbal swell trigger is available to play along with. Any music playlist or music segment can be configured with stingers. In this instance, we'll configure the stinger to work with the combat music. In the Project Explorer, click the Audio tab, then select the Combat Music Playlist container, and then in the Property Editor, click the Stingers tab. There are three pieces necessary to configure a stinger. The source trigger, the targeted music segment, and an instruction of when the targeted music should play in relation to the currently playing music segment. Click Add, and then click the Selector button to choose the Cymbal Swell trigger created earlier. Now you need to indicate which music segment will be played when this happens. Drag the Cymbal Swell music segment to the Segment to Play column in the Property Editor. Now we can leverage the unique feature of a stinger, the ability to defer the action of when the audio is played to a musically sensitive time. Currently, the Play At setting is set to Immediate, which really doesn't provide any advantage over simply directly playing the music segment from the transport event we're going to use later. Instead, we want the cymbal swell to reach its apex at the next beat following the moment the player moves through the transporter. Change the Play At column to Next Beat. The stinger is now configured. Stingers are part of the inheritance system in WISE, so adding a stinger to an object means that your work applies to all child objects contained within. In other words, it doesn't matter which music segment within the combat music playlist container is playing, the cymbal swell will be heard when the player moves through the teleporter as long as any of the combat music is playing. One thing we still need to address is that Cube's game engine has not been programmed to send a trigger game call called Symbol Swell when the player moves through the teleporter. Adding that code to the game engine won't be necessary as we can set up the teleport event used to trigger the teleport sound effect to also play the Symbol Swell trigger. In the Project Explorer, select the Events tab and choose the Teleport event. You can see in the action list that the teleport event is already triggering the teleport sound SFX object to play. Let's take a listen. Events can also be set to initiate a trigger. In the event actions list, click the add button and choose trigger. The event editor adds a trigger action to the event actions list, but indicates that the trigger is missing. If we select the second row and then click browse, we can now select the symbol swell trigger. You might expect that if we play the teleport event that we'll hear the sound effect of the teleporter and the cymbal swell. However, we hear that this is not the case. We don't hear the cymbal swell because the combat music isn't playing. The transport normally only lets you play one object at a time, which makes it difficult to test a stinger that typically needs multiple objects to play simultaneously. Ultimately, we need to be able to play the combat music and teleport event simultaneously. What will allow us to do this is a Soundcaster session. Let's open the Soundcaster view. Create a new Soundcaster session, and we'll call it Music Test. Here we can add objects that we want to be able to play. Let's add the teleport event, and the combat music. When we add combat, we'll see that the symbol swell has been added into the triggers area, and this allows us to test our trigger with the combat music. We'll start by playing the combat music. And then we can click the play button in the triggers area. And there's our symbol swell, which occurs on beat. Now, this time, we'll play the combat music and play the teleport event. Here's the music, and now the teleport event. 
Now we can hear the teleport sound effect followed by the cymbal swell, whose apex will always fall on beat. This will provide a nice musical accent to the action on the screen.